All right, welcome back to the second po the second segment of Hero Villain Mashup, where this time around, as you saw in the first video I just posted, where it was a Powerpuff Girls villain versus the main six, now it's time for an MLP villain to enter the city of Townsville. And yes, from the title you can see, yep, what would it be like if uh, the Powerpuff Girls had Queen Chrysalis as a villain? Now, they have encountered shape-shifting villains before in the past, but they've never really been... Has, shall we say, uh, bigger threats? Queen Chrysalis, on the other hand, took Canterlot and under an hour, uh, like, took her under 15 minutes, but the whole, I'm evil and this is my monologue, I will destroy He Man, I mean, Queen Fel uh, Princess Celestia, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, Chrysalis's downfall. So let's say her and her changelings found the city of Townsville, where, yeah, they, uh, yeah. You've seen the sh you've seen it on St. Valentine's Day. This town gets all into it in love. They could easily feed among you know. The interesting thing about the changelings is that, you know, obviously they're changelings. So what if they could take on human form? This would be like secret invasion to the nth degree. Uh you know, the the girls would be if they found out the existence of changelings in Townsville, they wouldn't know who to trust. They honestly would, be, and the changelings are a little smarter when it comes to uh, invasions, as we've seen with Chrysalis. Well, just a bit smarter. So I think it would be interesting to see, you know, the girls try to figure out who's a changeling and who's not, especially trying to figure out where Queen Chrysalis is. Um, who would be Chris, uh, Queen Chrysalis? I, if I had any say, it would probably... I'd either make her Miss Bellum or uh, Miss Keen. Yeah, she would either be Miss Keen or Miss Bellum, if I had any say in this Powerpuff Girls MLP crossover. Uh, but yeah, among other things with this, uh, sir, with this is that the, the girls are fighting an entire army. Now, they have fought alien invasions before. Hell, one of those said alien invasions being a... More, you know, being literally a uh, an invasion of humanoid broccoli, <laughs> so they can handle themselves. But a full-on invasion of people that can shapeshift not just once but multiple times, and even uh, shapeshift into them, even into ver you know, shapeshift into people they know. That's going to really screw with them. That's going to really screw with uh, that uh, them on a on a whole other level. And the girls can get a little, and we have seen the Powerpuff Girls get a little arrogant now and again in terms of, uh, in terms of, what's the word I'm looking for? In terms of, you know, accusations. They kind of, they, they sometimes jump the gun here and when it comes to, uh, accusations here and there. Uh, it would be something to, you know, I, it would, Blossom would have to keep the girls together because Chrysalis, like she tried to do with Twilight and the others, she would try, you know, to split the girls up because I think Chrysalis would understand, yeah, these girls are pretty tough on their, you know, set, you know, on their own. Together, they're an even worse threat. I have a better chance of splitting these girls up and taking them out individually. So I could see her shape-shifting into, like, uh, like I said, Miss Keen and giving a lot of attention to Blossom, making Bubbles and Buttercup jealous, or turn into the mayor, and uh, you know, give you know, or turn into even turn into the professor and give a lot of love to one of the other girls, making the other two jealous, and kind of separate them all through that. So that would be, you know, that would be one of Chris. Because let's face it, Chrysalis is powerful on her own. You know, if she feeds on love, obviously we saw her take down Celestia in one blast. Uh, after feeding on shining love, uh, shining armor's love for Cadence. So I can only imagine what she would be like if she fed off the girl. You know, the Powerpuff Girls' love for Professor Utonium, or Professor Utonium's love for uh, the pa the girls. Hell, she could even feed off of the mayor's <laughs> love of pickles, and that would give her enough. Have you seen his love for pickles? It's like a goddamn fetish. So, yeah, she could even feed off the villain's love for being evil. Like she could, you know, she could shapeshift into something and get close to uh, Fuzzy Lumpkins and feed off of his love of banjos. Uh. His banjo, you know, his banjo, she could shapeshift into something to get close to Mojo Jojo and feed off of his love for being evil and wanting to destroy Townsville. She could even turn into one of the members of the Gang Green Gang and walk among them while feeding off their love of just vandalizing and being total pricks. 
Yeah. There's not a shortage of love in the city of Townsville for, uh, for uh, Chrysalis and her changelings to feed off of. And when they r would reveal themselves, oh, it would be so go time. But like I said, uh, I don't know if, the, you know, cha the changelings themselves wouldn't be really much of a match for the girls. I mean, they're just, you know, horse bugs. That's all they are. And we've seen them get, like, whole swarms of them get smacked around by six ponies. Imagine three girls with superpowers could do to them. Now, obviously, the big threat would be Chrysalis herself, who would be feeding on all the love around her and making her stronger. But, yeah, I don't think, like I said, I don't think even with, she would even look at it like, okay, the, even if I have all this love and stuff, those girl, the three girls are still going to beat the crap out of me, so I better fight this, you know, play safe and not fight them in a direct, you know, in a direct situation. That would be totally fucking bad for me. So that would be Chrysalis's ga game plan, is not to engage up front, but to, you know, play the, uh, play decisively, and like I said with him and the ponies, play on their insecurities, play on their, uh, just prey, uh, uh, prey on their insecurities, prey on, you know, their sisterly love. Yeah, that's another thing Chrysalis could feed off of, their love for one another. That's another strong element she could feed off of, their love as sisters, and that would fuel her and her army and her changelings. So, yeah, that, like I said, no shortage of love in the city of Townsville for the changelings to feed off of. Because wherever you go, somebody loves something or someone. So, yeah, the girls would be in, a, in for a tough time. But you guys tell me, what do you all think this would be like if uh, Queen Chrysalis and her changeling army or swarm, that's the better put, if, if the changeling swarm ended up in Townsville. What do you think that would be like? Uh, and what kind of global scale, how bad of a, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, when the changelings finally reveal themselves, what would that be like for the city of Townsville? I can only imagine just a hot, just like these zerg hives, well, zerg-like hives, all along the city of Townsville, and the changelings wrapping up people to consume their love and Chrysalis just, in, you know, more, more or less going one on, one on three with the Powerpuff Girls and, fight, you know, fighting them while consuming more love for, you know, from both them and the people of Townsville as she's getting stronger and stronger. So, yeah, this is, a, this is another interesting one. I was originally going to go with, because uh, honestly, when you think about it, you could put... Uh, a lot of the MLP villains, Nightmare Moon, uh, Tyrek, especially Tyrek, I actually was thinking about Tyrek, uh, Discord when he was evil, and a few other people here and there into the city of Townsville and make them Powerpuff Girls villains, because they really do work like that. However, uh, again, it's not just because Lauren Faust worked on, she didn't create, she worked on this show with her husband Craig McCracken, but uh, I think, you know... <laughs> It's just more like, yeah, these characters could work as Powerpuff Girls villains. They really could. That's the uh, really interesting thing right there. But once again, uh, you guys tell me, what do you guys think this uh, this would be like? And uh, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.